In this entertaining and powerful speech by Speaker Salon alum, Jupiter Slut, she shares her very personal journey of teaching math and creating connection, while also demonstrating that spoken word and poetry can be very effective in delivering an important keynote. National Science Foundation Noyce Grant. Me, a teaching fellow, placed in the number one school in the state for poverty. My school was in an urban district where social emotional issues were out of control. My students had a quarter of them reading levels below the second grade. Absolute absurdity. Positive and negative become arbitrary within the confines of the absolute value system. Today, we will review Common Core State Standard 6 EEA. We are going to perform arithmetic in the conventional order. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Verbal abuse was the most common response to every lesson. Fuck you is not the appropriate language for school. That's right. That's true. <sighs> but who cares about adjacent angles when your mother is dead and your brother is in jail? Fuck you is an entirely rational response because there are no rational numbers when your mother chose your brother and you were the one put in a foster home last night. In the face of so much pain, all judgment fades away. My students wanted love. Every single one of us wants love almost every minute of every single day, and yet we struggle. We all struggle so much. A voice in our head says, you're not enough. It's what we were taught, to fear the judgment of being less than. The only thing that zeroes out the pain of having less or being less the additive inverse of poverty isn't education. It's love. Love is the only way to be right in all the wrongness. Love, a word so twisted, it leaves a slime in my mouth. Love is a costume worn by fear, more dangerous than any outright attack. You want to be homeless? Teachers threatened that. You want to be a stripper like your mom? Fear, shame, and humiliation are never love. Fear is never love. I didn't know what to do. I did not have all the answers. You hate me. You hate school. You hate math. I can see why. Want to play basketball? Yes. Magic. When I let go of thinking I knew anything, when I relinquished control, when basketball came first and can you make four out of three shots came second, Magic. Ha! I'd think. It's working. We're learning. I'm teaching. And I'd head back to the agenda only to fail again. I'd be counting spitballs on the ceiling, a cup of tea in my hand, trying not to let the 
irritation show on my face. Can we have a cup of tea, miss? Yes, on one condition. You calculate a tip for me, the waitress. And magic, a room full of students calculating percentages. Ha! It's working, I think. I'm teaching. They're learning, and I'd head back to the agenda, only to fail again. It seemed random, a string of successes and failures. <laughs> Math practice standard eight. Look for regularity in repeated reasoning. I looked. I expressed my frustration. How could I make sense of it all? Unexpected, a pattern emerged. When I stopped thinking I should know, when I let go of the agenda, that's when the magic happened. Test scores, clean language, these are the addition and subtraction of being right. If done first, they consistently lead to being wrong. In the order of operation, in the math of emotion, the greatest magnitude operation is love. It's exponential. If you have the desire to share your very important message from the Speaker Salon stage, go to speakersalonapplication.com. And be sure to share your biggest takeaways from Jupiter's talk. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you have access to my latest video. I am so happy that you are here and will always respond to your comments. Big love.